A transformer exploded Tuesday at Hoover Dam. I'm sure many of you have heard. Now, Hoover Dam is one of the nation's largest hydroelectric facilities, producing a thick cloud of black smoke and flames that were quickly extinguished. No one was hurt in the explosion, which is good news. Now, the explosion occurred near the base of the dam, which is an engineering marvel on the Colorado River that straddles the border of Arizona and Nevada. Electricity produced by Hoover Dam continued flowing to the 8 million people in Arizona, Nevada, and Southern California who rely on it regardless of the explosion, according to the Western Area Power Administration. Now, the cause of the fire is still under investigation, and it should be. And they are working to determine the extent of the damage to the transformer. It's one of 15 at the complex that controls the voltages for power sent to customers. But they could run on just eight. So this is just a setback. Now, there's no risk to the power grid, said Jacqueline Gould, a regional director for the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation. But the fire ignited around 10 a.m., if you want the facts, and was out within a half an hour according to Gould. But the fire captured the attention of tourists who said they heard the alarm sound and felt the ground rumble beneath them. So let's take a look at this video. Well, folks, get your video on that. There's just been an incident here. At My the goodness, house. something's just blown out. Explosion and a fire. We're going to be uh, leaving now, so we're going to get trapped in here. Something has just blown out. Yeah. Well, folks, get your video on that. There's just been an incident here. At My the goodness, house. something's just blown Explosion out. Explosion and a fire. We're going to be... Now you're listening to William Hero. He's just 13 years old, and he was fascinated by the explosion. Now William Hero of San Francisco was on the viewing bridge with his parents when he saw the explosion and heard the big boom. Something has just blown out. Yeah. Well, folks, get your video on that. There's just been an incident here. My yeah. goodness, something's just blown out. I love this kid. Something has just blown out. Yes, it has. So the, it's only the child that realizes that something has just blown up, which uh, should leave you pause. But why did it blow up? And why are they putting out the fire? As many as 20,000 vehicles a day drive across the wide top of the dam, which is a national historic landmark and is seen in films including Transformers and Fools Rush In. Most motorists traveling between Arizona and Nevada use a bypass bridge high above the dam that opened in 2010, so they don't actually see it. Now, the explosion occurred on the apron of a building housing turbines that is slightly downstream from the base of the dam, about 25 miles, the southeast of Las Vegas. Hoover Dam is one of the tallest concrete dams in the U.S. at 726 feet, and each of its 17 generators can supply electricity to 100,000 households. So this would be an immediate, well, exceptional blackout. Now, the Bureau of Reclamations owns and operates the dam. Powerhouses and turbines uh, included. Now, the power produced at the site is transferred to a substation where it is marketed through the Western Area Power Administration. Hoover Dam is considered a baseload source of power meaning it can respond quickly to the need for additional power on the grid or dial back supply, as accorded. Now, the fire tri triggered an alert at the Western Area Power Administration Control Center in Phoenix. Spokesman Lisa Meenum said that while the loss of transformers or other equipment on hydropower facilities can put pressure on the grid, not a single source is integral to the health of the grid as a whole. But what if more than one of these were to go off at once. And what if the power grid was shorted off by just a small geomagnetic event, which occurred at the exact moment, right here, that that transformer failed? What if? Well, how will we safeguard Earth from a solar storm catastrophe? We will not. The grid is, in fact, not hardened. About 90% of the grid is vulnerable. And that means a grid-down scenario for years, coming soon. And these minor events blowing up transformers are just a taste of what's coming 
in the future. Mark my words. We're not here to scare you. We're here to prepare you. If a minor KP5 event that triggers off after a long period of quiescence causes, a well, an explosion at a power grid, are you kidding me? Let's take a look one more time just to make sure we saw it correctly. My goodness, somebody's just blown up. Yes, it did, young man. And it's not your fault. Something has just blown up. It's the sun. So folks, get your video on that. So folks, get your video. My goodness, Nothing to see blown here. Up. We're going to be, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna be leading you out folks. so you don't get trapped in here. Well, sign of the times, and that's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss-poor performance as major transformers explode with minor effects from the sun. We're no bum. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. Well, and bring your preps up. The shit is about to hit the fan, and that's a boom to knowledge. Mm.